Hi, my name's Chris Noble. I'm an independent IT consultant. My website's doglikehorse.com and I'm here to talk to you about basic computer training for children. Things you'll need for this are a computer, an operating system, the latest one, preferably Mac operating system, or Windows operating system, up to date, and children. Children tend to take to computers like ducks do to water. They learn pretty fast. The internet's an ever-changing place, so trends and websites, techniques and tools will change rapidly. The best thing you can do as a parent is enable a safe environment for your kids to surf the internet and to use the computer and let them figure out how to do it. They'll learn much faster than you can. You'll see in no time they'll be up to speed and browsing the internet and doing a ton of things that they'll be teaching you about. The first step that you need to do is to create an account for them on your computer that isn't the account that you use. As an adult, you'll want to give yourself unrestricted access to all parts of the computer and the internet. For your children, you want to restrict access and make sure that you can manage the accounts. So to do that, the first thing you need to do is to log into the administration of your computer. We're using a Mac today, so we're going to log into the system preferences and have a look at the user accounts. Now you'll need to create an account for the children. So give them a username, you can call it the kids, or if you have individual children that you want to assign usernames to, you can do that as well. Make sure you write down the usernames and the passwords and give that to each of the children. Once you've set up the account for the children, you can edit the parental controls. This is where it gives you a chance to uh, choose which websites they can view, which applications they can open, and in some cases, even how long they can spend on the computer and at what times. So if you go through each of these settings, you'll be able to change each of the filters and each of the settings on each of the tabs. The last step to do, really, is to give the kids access to the computer. Now, at this point, you'll want to hand the controls over to them, tell them what their username and password is, give them some basic training on how to move the mouse around the screen, how to open an internet browser like Windows Explo Internet Explorer or Safari or Firefox, show them how to browse to their favorite websites, which may be kids' news programs or cartoon sites, and let them just go and play. They'll soon figure it out. My name's Chris Noble. Thanks for watching this video about basic computer training for children. <laughs>